It's Sunday morning in the fall, I think. I think this is still October. And I'm going to uh, take a little stroll uh, around Windsong. And I'm standing at uh, my little footbridge over the creek. And um, I'm going to walk down the creek. I'm going to check out some of the cairns that have been built here. And each one of these cairns is symbolic um, of something uh, in our lives. Uh, maybe I'll talk about what they are specifically later, but for right now I'm just going to walk along and point them out to, to you. And, and uh, so let's, let's get on the way as we walk. Uh, this is the footbridge. And um, this is uh, the sort of runs along the path that I'm taking now runs along the uh, creek and this is one of my favorite trees by the way this is this little tree right here is is a real survivor it's like it had polio as a kid and got its limbs bent and it still survived and crept up and pushed right through the canopy all the way up I like this tree so back to the little journey along the creek and uh, it's a little bit difficult to walk and focus this at the same time or to aim it but I'll try my best try not to fall on my butt so here we are coming along and up ahead is the first little Karen it's nothing magnificent but it's it's representational of some something and there I think you can see it very plainly sticking up and there's another one downstream I don't know how well you can see it but um, so we're going to walk along here and check out I planted grass recently along here, and I'm kind of anxious to see that it gets good foothold. Here's, there's the Karen again. You can see it right there. And there's a couple of more down that way. And there's, uh, I have some lighting in, in that uh, set of rocks over there to light it up at night. And this is the spillway from the creek. And it goes all the way back up to the pond. And when the pond overflows, it comes down here. And it's really quite beautiful and has a really pleasant sound. My son arranged rocks, and I myself too, to achieve a <coughs> uh, little bit of falling water harmony, if you will. So up here is another Karen that... Uh, it's not complete yet, but uh, we have plans for it. And of course, I have to uh, interject my two cents, and my son tells me to go build my own, so I will. And I'll probably outdo him. <clears throat> Here we are. Here's, for right now, the piece de resistance. This is quite nice. It's. Uh, it's nothing that uh, is astounding from a construction standpoint, but it's quite nice. And then this has all been landscaped by my son, and I help. He's uh, what we call the hydraulic guy, and I'm the uh, manual labor guy. He gets to sit on the big machines and pull the hydraulic levers, and I get to... Uh, do the back-breaking work of uh, doing everything manually. So here we are and this is uh, the shade garden which we're in the process of getting back into condition. I had some knee surgery a couple years ago and kind of let it go by the wayside. There's the bottle tree, a uh, wall crab tree creation and down here will be another Karen, which uh, 
which is really significant because its placement was uh, to point to Orion at the apex, northern apex of its uh, winter journey and it points to the south southeast sky I think it is if I remember correctly and not, it's not anything uh, monumental but uh, for me it, it has has uh, some some uh, some meaning I've always liked the constellation Orion because when I took navigation it was the easiest one for me to find and the two brightest stars in the sky which was Betelgeuse and, and Rigel and then, of course, the belt stars point down to uh, Cirrus, I think it is. But you can see it very nicely. Everybody knows Orion constellation from about November to February. And, of course, there's a couple of uh, uh, mytho mythological stories about how Orion came about. And of course, Orion died as a result of a sting by a scorpion on his heel. And uh turns out that he was supposedly the strongest and the wisest uh, man on um, on the earth. And he uh, he was a gift to a pious peasant from I think three of the planets in the in the solar system: Jupiter, Jupiter, Neptune, and Mercury. And Orion supposedly was able to walk on water, had great strength, you know, superhero type of guy in those days. And of course, that much, that much uh, power, of course, corrupted him, got him into trouble. And eventually the other gods had to take him out, which they did with uh, some dispatch. Sad story, but shit happens, I guess. Now I'm up here. This is a little... Uh, place that I've built over the years just by picking up deadfall in the shade garden and this represents uh, the original intent was to provide habitat for small animals small critters and we have a lot of dogs around here and they chase them and catch them and and it's not a pretty sight so I started building that now it's out of hand I don't know what I'm going to do I got to deconstruct it and take it someplace and then, of course, here's my place where I do all my heavy thinking. Uh, my room of contemplation, the old hammock. So I'm going to sign off uh, right now. That's enough. Probably an overload. So have a good day.